Paige Wood began going to tanning salons when she was 18 years old. Now 27, she's fighting melanoma, a deadly form of skin cancer. It's definitely been an ongoing battle for me with um, just remaining optimistic. In the journal Lancet Oncology, an international panel of cancer experts upgraded the warning on tanning beds from probably to definitely able to cause cancer. There have been a number of studies showing an increased risk in melanoma, and it's particularly in people who start using tanning beds before the age of 35. In those people, the risk of melanoma increases by 75%. Over the past three decades, tanning salons have grown in popularity, now numbering 25,000 and attracting 30 million customers in the U.S. Per capita per region, the top four cities, Pittsburgh, Charleston, West Virginia, Akron, and Scottsdale. UV exposure damages your skin. It puts you at risk for skin cancer. It makes you have wrinkles and brown spots. From 1980 to 2004, the number of melanomas in 15 to 39-year-old white American women increased by 50 percent. The Indoor Tanning Association told CBS they have, quote, always emphasized the importance of moderation when it comes to UV light from either the sun or a tanning bed. But Paige Wood and dermatologists insist they're not worth the risk. And John, we have known about the risks of tanning salons for many years now, yet millions of people continue to use them. Do you think this latest and most serious warning will actually be heeded? Katie, I really hope so, because, you know, teenagers are particularly a problem because they think they're invulnerable. And there is a bill that's pending in Texas that would require kids under the age of 18 to come in with a parent and to also have a note from their doctor before being allowed to use a tanning salon. So we'll, that'll be very interesting to see what happens with Sounds that. Sounds like a good idea. All right, John LaPook, John, thanks very much. For more about the risk of melanoma indoors or out, you can go to our partner in health coverage, WebMD.com, and search skin cancer.